Hi, I'm Matthew. This is going to be a quick demonstration of CDP flood attacks using a different tool this time. As this time I'm going to use a tool called CDP from a package named IRBAS. It's available on any uh, Ubuntu repositories, probably at the Linux as well. Uh, okay, uh, as you can see on the screen, I uh, got a console screen here uh, with root access. I got my switch. Uh, this time it's Cisco Catalyst 2900XL uh, because in the previous year senior demonstration I used 1900 and it didn't have any, any effect. We'll check if this time uh, replacing the switch will make a difference at all. Uh, so now I'm going to uh, show you uh, the CDP uh, of the actual network now. Neighbors, I don't know neighbors. Uh, so quickly, I'll demonstrate two methods. One will be a flood uh, of CDP packets, and one will be uh, just to create one custom uh, device of your choice. Uh, this tool is much more powerful than Yersinia, on which you have not much control. With this one, it's much different. It's CDP. Uh, it has lots of nice options, as you can potentially see. Uh, so we did the spoof mode, when you can actually use uh, to create one spoofed entry, or you can actually use uh, the entire uh, flood mode when you can actually flood everything. Uh, so first of all I'm going to show you because I have prepared already a command to create one entry and as you can see it's cdp uh, m uh, for creating a spoof mode d uh, I'm going to create a device id uh, called netgear on port ethernet 10 is going to have Netgear OS uh, version of the software 0.9 F provides the IP address seed capabilities so this time it's going to be a router and the interface I'm going to send the packet so just press enter and as you can see run in spoof mode so now if I retype the command on my router as you can see that there's a new device uh, net ID uh, on the local interface capabilities is router has a platform net OS and the port ID is 10 so that's all very nice but uh, now I would like to perform a flood so I need to use uh, the other options it's M0 so I'm going to type a new command cdp m0 I'm not going to provide number of packets let's go hyper crazy and I'm going to go with 9000, 90, 000, 900, 9 million ah should be enough this amount of uh, packets uh, the length uh, of the device ID, uh, ID let's say 50 and I want a ran totally randomized and interface at zero as usual so I'm going to perform the attack now as I'll just before then I'll check what I have here still on the switch one spoofed entry that I made so you can see it's still there, it's hold down time left 169. So now I'm going to start the attack. So it's running in flood mode and the mint as you can see. And now I'll just wait, uh, let's say 10 seconds and I will show you uh, what's uh, in the switch buffer already. How many entries it got ish of course. Uh, okay, so show CDP neighbors. As you can see now, I got lots of random entries that are totally random, and everyone can see that uh, they are not real. Oh, 
Oh, that's very interesting. I got some sort of error. Uh, I got a time and a system malloc failure. Full processor alignment. CDP protocol. I have no idea what that means in terms of networking. Does it mean it cannot accommodate uh, more uh, entries? I think it's so. I think it's run out of memory and the attack is still on. Oh, next one. Yeah, so I think I've managed to uh, maybe not buffer overflow my switch. Uh, I think, yeah, maybe actually I did because I think it doesn't now allow a new entries to the actual pool because I think it's just oh I think it actually hanged now there yes I think that my console is dead well yeah but yeah definitely I think I've managed to trash a switch actually oh oh no no it got got back not sure if it's operational now. If it is, it's very slow. It's not, a res res not as responsive as it was. Uh, and again, uh, yeah, I think it's kind of affecting the switch performance. Yeah, it does. I right, cannot. It's very unresponsive, can't do really much with it. Whoops, well, seems like I've managed to influence the actual switch. I uh, hope that's reasonably understandable. And yeah, hope you enjoyed that live demo. <laughs> Bye.